to another episode of Summer Days Tonight Alpha 19. And oh my god, does it feel good to say that again? Last we left off, we got our hands for the very first time on the weapon that you are seeing. Oh, that's blowing off some freaking heads already. That's how you know it's gonna be a great start to a great day. Just last episode, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We got our hands on the weapon added with an Alpha 19, one of many, the tactical assault rifle, which will be very tactical when it comes to assaulting the zombies with our rifle, thus the name. That is actually the exact reason the name came to be. And really quickly, we did actually just finish talking to the trader over here. I am a little bit bummed out because we, uh, we could like, for example, sell these diamonds, right? And I am kind of contemplating it because I kind of do want to try and get this motorcycle chassis, which could be really cool for us actually building up something like insanely useful already, but we're not going to have the funds. So I'm going to save the diamond. We're going to save it. A we're going to sell There's it a little bit down the line the road, when we can actually it. sell or uh, what you call level up some of our perks and actually become better at like bartering and stuff like that. But this fella did give us a quest. He told us of some buried treasure. So we're going to go and check that out. And if y'all are new to seven days to die, because I know it's been a little while since the last episode. Apologies about that. You might be new to the channel. Hey, seven days to die is an awesome series. Check out the playlist link at the top of the description and follow with our shenanigans from the beginning. Because moving forward, we got a few big goals we want to hit on. I just want to reiterate them. Obviously, the big, the big chungus of all the goals. I want to build a base. I want to build a base from scratch. I don't just want to build any kind. No, 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 no. I want to build something entirely. Uh, from scratch. Y'all can see we do have a decent vehicle here in the, uh, bike. Yeah, there's a lot better vehicles in the game that I would like to craft over the bicycle. We're gonna be working our way towards that as well. They have more storage room, which makes it more mobile for us and easier for us to explore. And, bro, we got a lot of exploring to do. Our main domain has been these two kind of, like, little local towns. And I really would like that to change. So, uh, oh, 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 my good dad was not that good sound over there. That's the sound of freaking metal on metal. I just hit a little iron deposit over there. Uh, I did see this zombie. I got a lot of 7.62 ammo, so nothing like a little bit of target practice with our brand spanking new gun. Boop! It's uh, hit number one. Boop! Oh no, oh, that didn't happen. Boop! That's hit number two. Two bullets only. That uh, third bullet, don't know what you're talking about. That third bullet never happened. Now, I don't have my shovel with me. Do oh no, 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 no. Big brain, big brain, big eyes, big eyes. I got my shovel. We're gonna wanna go digging. Somewhere within this small little radius lies buried treasure. You know what buried treasure usually contains? Uh, treasure. You know what treasure's usually good for? Selling, making money. You know what money's good for? Talking to my trader buddy and uh, getting some goods from him. Now, it does appear that we do have some zombies nearby. Ideally, I would like to take these fellers out. Boop! Nope, missed that. Boop! All right, because uh, nighttime is about to officially strike as you just did with that noise, which now means that these zombies are runners! Gonna be a little bit more cautious, but nothing we won't be able to take care of. And this fella actually dropped a little bit of dropped loot. Let's go. Oh, 700, dude, let's go. That's like $1,000 worth of cash. Shmoney. Especially if we actually go and drink one of our special, uh, whatchamacall. First off, if we do continue leveling up, big thing that I want to do here, right? I want to level up. Where is it? Where is it? This perk. I want to become a better salesman, but I need my intellect to reach level three. So I'll just continue leveling up intellect here for a little bit. I want to be able to sell better, and I want to be able to buy at better prices. Those are two things we are going to be working towards. And speaking of working towards, dude, we got to freaking work towards uh, protecting our stuff here. Because, oh my god. There's zombies galore attacking us. How's that zombie not dead? I was about to say, a bit of a tough cookie over there, but we are making our way back home after knocking out quite a few quests. Unfortunately, nighttime has made that a little bit tougher than it should be currently. If you guys don't know, we live inside of a pretty much seven days to die 7-Eleven. Not the most glorious of things, but the glory will be coming. One of the next big steps that I want to take, especially before the next major horde strikes, because in case y'all are new to seven days to die, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. You're in for a fun treat, but uh, every seven days, there's a giant zombie horde that shows up and pretty much uh, it tries to eat your face and destroy your base and uh, do everything it can to really just poop on your day, bro. Like, if you're having a good day, you know, you're like, oh, let me make a bowl of cereal here. Ah, 
all of a sudden the zombie horde just freaking pees in your cereal. They just pooping in your cereal in the morning. Like, I'd be pretty upset if someone pooped in my Cheerios. So, yeah. Zombies gotta die. Long story short. Uh, you know what I got? I got a need. Not for speed. I got a need for a rock. So, if uh, you'll excuse me. I need to find me a rock. Can you provide me a rock, good sir? No, that kind of looked like it might be a rock. Okay, hold up. Mm. There's like mainly dirt and stuff down here. I would like a rock. Eh, honestly, it might just be a- where's that iron deposit we ran into? You give me rocks, right? There you go, there's the rock I was in, you know, shiny Jimbo. But hey, hopefully everyone's having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety. That only does keep on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bringing you a smile, bringing you a giggle, anything or everything like that. It does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers that it needly do. That's exactly what it do do and yo we're getting closer to the treasure which actually means that the little radius should have closed in so i kind of dug a few layers down and then i'm kind of like expanding out this tends to be around let's go where the treasure is let's collect that and uh, i can't really pick up everything but if i'm not mistaken doesn't that summon a zombie horde yeah i, I hear footsteps i don't know if he was summoned or if he's just kind of like showing up Regardless, a little bit suspicious of them. Don't mind me. Let me eat my cat food over here. Um, yum, 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 yum. Marvelous. Uh, speaking of storage room, let me... I remember one of the big reasons I was literally making my way back home. We were just running out of storage room because, unfortunately, the bicycle is not the best vehicle when it does come to storage. I mean, it's okay, but it could be better. It has literally one row of storage. Eh, we, can, we can do better than that, my friends. We can do significantly better. I will not shuttle. Never. So yeah, that's what we're in the midst of doing. So if you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna try to pick up some of this food because having a nice little food supply is a great way of staying fed. And if you're fed, you're alive. And I like staying alive. So before we pick up that White River supplies, which is kind of the main reason we got sent out to do this. Ooh, dude, we can actually sell the blueberry seed book for a few bucks. We're gonna grab that thing. And yeah, that, that, that is what summons the horde. This is where it's time for the rifle to shine. Oh, is it's a burst fire? It only shoots like three in a row. Did I, t I No, I didn't put a burst fire mod on this. Okay, so it's a burst fire weapon off the bat. Ah, come on, da, 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 da. Back it up, zombies. I'm not ready to deal with you. My aim's a little bit funky because the game did get an update which reset my sensitivity and I don't think my sensitivity is right because my aim is so off. All right, we just got this fella over here to take down. It's time for the flaming switch hammer. It's hammer time. Okay, all right. Yeah, we all know that they can't touch this. But let's go. We've completed that quest. Unfortunately, the settlement is closed for the day. That's what happens. They close up shop. They're like, yeah, you know, I'm going to go sleep. We don't sleep in seven days to die. We're psychopaths. You know what we do? We kill zombies and build base defenses. And we are going to continue doing that. But for now, let's make our way back home. Back to our nifty little 7-Eleven hut. Which has been serving as, I mean, uh, kind of, you know, ground zero for us. And we're going to stash some things away. Make some inventory room and prepare. Ow, that's a rock. For an adventure. On a bicycle. Because for now, we're stuck on the bicycle. I'd love to not be stuck on the bicycle, but we're stuck on the bicycle. Uh, maybe we'll be able to find some other vehicle parts. To create a mini bike or a motorcycle or a better form of transportation. Although, I will say the bicycle is the one form of transportation. Alright, there's no freaking, like, uh, Flintstones cars in here, unfortunately. We can craft a 4x4 Jeep for a car. We can't craft a Flintstones car. Start why are you talking about a Flintstones car? Because that would be powered by our legs. Currently, the bicycle is the only thing powered by legs, to my knowledge, except for your legs. But I think we already knew that. That's right. Everyone, breaking news. Your legs are powered by legs. I think. Someone's probably gonna be like, technically no. In which case, you know what? I'm obviously, I'm not a legologist. I don't claim to be. I'm just sharing some very broad leg information and trying to stay alive on my bike because I'm running out of stamina. It's the middle of the night. There's zombies everywhere. And hello, Chicon. Godspeed to you. That Chicon, did you see that Chicon on the ground? He was on a mission. Good luck, Chicon. I wish you nothing but the best. Me and my bike over here, freaking Benji the bike. We're ready to roll. Autobots roll out, dude. This would be probably the lamest Autobot out there. Literally just like a bicycle. All the other ones are like freaking like cars, tanks, all these crazy vehicles. They just have like a little bicycle Autobot. <laughs> dude, I'd feel bad for the bicycle Autobot, man. 
You know, if it was like a motorbike, okay, different story, but a bicycle? That's tough. That's tough. Anyways, we should be approaching- Ow, Rock! We should be approaching home sweet home. The pass and gas. That we call our own. Let's go and uh, set up our bicycle here right next to uh, right next to these. You know, bicycle's ready to ready to fill that puppy up right there. We got the gas pump. We got the bicycle. It'll be powered and ready to go. We got some leftover defenses from the day seven horde that we did fend off. This is where we blew up a car. Yeah, the horde knights get a little bit out of hand. I would not want it any other way. There's unfortunately a destroyed workbench, and I'm just trying to figure out. Uh, hold up. There you go. I walked completely past it. I took the longest route imaginable to get to that. We're back, baby. Welcome home. Feels good to be back. And uh, feels good, because check it out. All the stuff over here is stuff that we're just waiting to sell. Let's add seven diamonds that are worth $2,000 into the mix as well. We got some blueberries. He's like, yeah, these like top two rows over here are literally stuff I have dedicated and designated to being sold to make some money so we should have honestly like 10 grand plus coming our way and that kind of those kind of funds can seriously go towards some big things brother some big things but in the meantime i got a lot of stuff i gotta go and uh put into their respective chests uh oh you don't like me moving my stuff into my chest too bad i don't like your face look at where that got me your face is gone that's right my will triumphs over yours, silly zombie. But anyways, y'all, here's where the situation pits us. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff over here that I got to put away. We definitely, we've picked up a few supplies that are going to be really handy for building our future home, by the way. Like, I went out of my way to pick up some cement and some cobblestone rocks, both of which will allow us to craft stronger walls than ever before. But uh, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we still got a little bit of nighttime to get through. I don't want to go too crazy before the daytime strikes because there's a trader literally two doors down. We're going to pop by there. We're going to say hello. We're going to see where his quest may or may not take us because knocking out these quests is a great way of making some funds and, and just doing some great stuff like that. Uh, besides that, though, we have discovered a few neighboring uh, little towns. I think this one actually has some okay stuff, if I'm recalling correctly. If not, though, I am kind of curious to see where this major road leads us because this kind of like big road that cuts through the middle of town, those big roads tend to lead to towns. As you're seeing, you know, big road in between two towns. Big road in between two towns. I'm not really sure where that one leads, so maybe we'll go on a little bicycle adventure uh, that away. But I digress. I'm also trying to figure out potentially what... Also, I know that I can learn these schematics over here and actually learn how to craft some of these weapon modifications to actually create some of our weapons as stronger counterparts. Speaking of which, let's freaking modify this tactical assault rifle because we do have this full auto mod that I used to have on my pistol. Uh, no more of this thing's officially fully automatic. And we can toss the rad remover on there as well, which is actually going to be very handy for when we start encountering radiated zombies, which are significantly more powerful than their not radiated counterparts. Uh, but that'll add four range damage as well. I can toss on the silencer, but that actually decreases damage. And this is my best gun, so I'd like it to be as powerful as humanly possible. So, there you have it. That is uh, what we are rolling with. This puppy, let's complete it. This became a little bit more powerful. Reloading! Beautiful. And with that, I also might go ahead and actually pick up a few bullets. There you go. I won't be traveling with too much over here, but a little bit of rifle ammo, a little bit of pistol ammo. Yeah, just so we're kind of okay on that part. And we do have all these anvils. We don't need this many. That's actually something that we need to... Uh, ah, speaking of which, we gotta craft a forge. Now that I am bringing that up. Unfortunately, we still don't have that knowledge. I was kind of hoping we might learn it from just finding a schematic otherwise we gotta get the perk for it or buy one if not i suppose we're pretty close to a level up here we can get the advanced engineering level and start building our forge which is going to be huge because that's how we're going to be able to craft raw resources like iron steel which will then go into play for doing stuff like crafting traps and whatnot forge steel you will be mine other things that will be mine, blade traps. Ooh, I miss those, man. Getting our base hooked up with electricity. It's gonna feel good. Also, we do have a few modifications scattered throughout our chests over here that honestly, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab and start putting these. I don't know why I grabbed that. And also, we do have our collection of Go 47 from earlier. 
that we do have some pretty solid weapons on. Uh, guess what, Kalashnikov? That extended mod, or that extended mag, that's going to your cousin, the tactical assault rifle. Goodbye, rad remover. Hello, extendo. That also increases damage, but also increases our magazine size, and I don't think we're going to be encountering irradiated zombies anytime soon. So we're going to be rolling with that. And then we also do have the pistol over here. I do like using the pistol. 9mm ammo is very common. We don't have a submachine gun yet to shoot that ammo. So the pistol is just a nice, you know, cheap way of dispatching foes from a distance. Uh, so I reckon I'll put... Yeah. I don't know. It's either the rat or move. Honestly, let's, let's put the silencer on this thing. Why not? That could be fun. I mean, nice and James Bond. Dun, 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 dun. And then you, Mr. Kolesnikov, you can get the bipod and the full auto. I mean, yeah, might as well. The full auto actually, I think, does increase the fire rate a little bit. So YOLO. We'll roll with that. And obviously, the higher quality weapons we start finding, we can also put more than just two modifications on. If we find, like, a level six, for example. Dude, four mods. That's what I want in my life. How about that? And speaking of things I want in life, you know what we're gonna go ahead and do? Uh, we're gonna start grabbing all of this stuff. Because this is all stuff I specifically wanted to sell. And we're gonna make a nice buck on it. Now here's the thing. I think I have a very special potion. A special, uh, antidote. Oh, let's go and sort that. That's what I wanted to do. I have a very special antidote, comrades. It's a great antidote. Best antidote you've ever seen. Where is Grandpa's elixir? There you go. No, not the learning elixir. Isn't... Didn't we have one for bartering? Oh, I might be horribly mistaken. But there was a special drink that literally gets you better prices. Huh. I may have been mistaken on that part. Maybe I only had one and I thought I had two for some reason. Well. Oh no, is this it? Yes, Grandpa's awesome sauce. Shouts out to you, Grandpa. You're gonna be making me some moolah. Uh, honestly, I could sell this Mega Crush too. I usually don't drink the energy drinks. Could sell a stack of grain alcohol. We got a lot of stuff we can sell. Even if it's not necessarily something I should be selling. Eh, don't care. We sell it. Cause with that sound, that's the sound of daytime. So let's just do one final check. Make sure that there's not anything else that I might maybe want to consider selling. Honestly, there's a lot of things I'd consider selling, but a lot of these are raw resources that will come in handy. Some food that I gotta cook up. Again, we got a lot of raw stuff. That food I'm not too worried about, because we do have, like, we just found plenty of food, actually, from that little, uh, buried treasure expedition. But what I am looking to do here, let's put away... I'll put away that level 5 stone shield. I'll keep the poster with me. Honestly, I'll keep all that. I'm pretty comfortable with what we got left over. Actually. I will also put away... There we go. Those 75 bullets. That brings that up to a full stack left over. We got 106 bullets we're bringing with us. These top two rows, I'm intending on fully keeping with me. This other stuff, I am intending on shelling. And as you're seeing, there's a lot of things. Although, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to see if we can level up, like, level up again before we do go and do and sell all this stuff. Because I would honestly, like, if we could level up that bartering perk I was talking about, we could make a few bucks. I don't know, maybe we'll go and, like, loot up the laundromat real quick. <laughs> See what that's all about. Let's put that into our inventory. Let's watch that beautiful reload animation. Or <laughs> Adam Cowboy. Hello, laundromat. Why don't we try out a little bit of a sneaky deaky pistol time? Hello. Hello, zombie. I'll shoot you in the butt real quick. Hope that's cool. Dang, he's a trooper. That's a lot of butt shots for surviving, guy. Woohoo! No scope. And we got a level from that. Fortunately, though, we're not going to have our next level of better barter. We got to level up intellect first. And then we unlock the next level of better barter. And it's going to take a lot of zombie kills. Before we're capable of anything too crazy. I guess if we, like, maybe have a quick quest we could knock out. I know we could go and turn in the other quest, by the way, but that one's kind of far away. That'll get us some experience. Not as much as we need, but a little bit. I could also loot up all of these. Where are you guys? On the roof? Actually, might be. 
We got a ton of laundry machines over here. We can loot these up for various clothes. I'm pretty set on the clothes side of thing, though. At least I think I am, right? I have, like, all my clothes bases covered. Yep. Pretty comfy with all the armor we're rocking. Uh, a little cash right here, so I'll take some cash. Nice. Actually, not too bad in the cash department. Take a little bit of stuff from there. I mean, this is a... It's, it's not... Hello, anyone in here? No? Okay. It's not a bad detour, either. Since I think we might need another hour until the shop opens anyway. I might just not wait. I know we could wait, level up that park, and get slightly more money. Ah, we really could get slightly more money, though. Ah... Uh, I know I'm leaving some stuff behind. I just want to leave my inventory relatively empty unless we really find something crazy. All right, let's get a little bit of melee action up in here. Hey, Yatus! Bite us! Oh, he's on a fire us! I love this thing. Oh, that's what we need, dude. We got to get lockpicks, actually. This season, I've really been struggling to find lockpicks. I don't know why. Just for the life of me, man. Can't find them. And the laundromat, nothing too crazy. I probably missed something. I mean, it is a laundromat, too, but... Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, hey, you're on fire, buddy. Yeah, I probably missed something. So this is the laundromat after... It's a drive... They got drive through laundromats? Okay. Kind of sick, not gonna lie. Well, let's go up to that roof, shall we? Then we'll make our way to the trader. Honestly, trading might level us up, too. But then we won't be able to apply the perk. It, we're just at such an unfortunate situation. I wish I was, like, one level higher, man. Yeah, though, nothing crazy in the laundromat unless I miss some kind of, like, secret room. All right. Let's not leave the purse behind. Or the birds. The birds belong to the bourgeoisie. Something like that. And away we go. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, I'm on a stand. But in one second, I'll beat your, I'll beat your, I'll smash your face in in just a second. There you go. Thank you for letting me rest. Please come again. Yeah, literally all that murdering. Got us about 10% of the way there. Man. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a quest, quest, a quest kind of nearby that we can take. Also, did the bookstore respawn? That actually be incredible if it did. I'm not gonna lie. I'd love to try and find that schematic blueprint and not need to level up that perk to get my forge. Oh, hello. It appears, uh... Oh, that was a body. Yeah, that was a body. What in the truck? Woo! Let's go, lads! Let's go, baby! Boop. We're looting off the library. You know why? There might be knowledge and paper. I don't still collect the paper. We can sell the paper. If we get like a full stack of like 500, it shouldn't be a few hundred bucks, I think. My math might be off on that. I'm not sure of the going rate of paper. I digress. Hello, angry lady. I'm sorry you can't speak to my manager. I'm, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to... Sorry to let you down there. Yes. Hello. Calm down. Did you not just see what I did to the other one? Or was that her? It might have been her. Oh, she had a vengeance. A hot dog. That's unfortunate. Yeah, though, these bookshelves, let's go. Automatic weapons, fully automatic fire is more accurate. Let's go. And Joel is open. And we're finding some more stuff to sell because these books, even if we don't find the books that we are in particular looking for, I mean, it's half off everything. No, even if we don't find exactly what we're looking for, it's still hard to go wrong because we can sell this stuff. Like, skill books really do sell for a lot. And or we can pick up new books and... Oh, I thought we started double backing and looting stuff we already looted. No, just both sides are actually the same object that you are looting. You're not looting separate shelves. You're, you're looting the entire unit. Hello. I just learned about the incredibleness of baseball bats. We got two of the puppies, which is freaking awesome. We'll be able to shell one of those. Um, already got that. Okay. I just want to make sure you don't miss anything. There's a lot of knowledge in this library. I'd rather not short on it. Although, dude, I am actually disappointed. We're finding so much paper. Actually, a lot of this paper, I think, might be left over from when we looted this place initially. So I should probably double back. And any places that I just paper might respawn. So that's what happened, is after a certain while of being away from a place, things should actually respawn. You gonna respawn there? There you go. So we have actually have not been here in a while, but we left some loot... But then if we grab that loot, it, it still counts as if we looted it like a week ago or whatever, right? So beautiful. 
Look at all the stuff, man. Look at all the stuff. We just gotta look away, look back, boom, shaka laka laka boom. And the stuff continues to flow. Oh, I am genuinely shocked, though. Boop. Oh no, missed you. Missed you. Now I gotta kill you. Yeah, I'm genuinely shocked, though. We're like really not finding much in the way of like skill books. First time around, like we didn't find a ton, but we found more than this, man. Come on, refresh. There we go. Appreciate it, bruv. Any other, like, end books that I missed? I really do not want to be missing an opportunity to get something good. I am actually shocked, though. This much paper? At a certain point, it gets ridiculous. Oh, there you go. That's a two-hitted quitter right there. Oh, hold up. First things first, let's organize my toolbar a little bit, because A, it's giving me OCD, and B, that means it's been giving some of you guys OCD for like 20 minutes. I apologize. We're back in business, though. Yeah, anytime I see that doghouse, that means there's a zombie dog around. Probably. And, uh, zombie dogs are terrifying. They have legitimate corn in here. Wow. Wow. Talk about a crazy library. This kid's zone is out of control. They have real corn. These bookshelves are out of control, though. Like, actually, right? You what? You bloody what? Man, the second story of this place better have better stuff. I'm gonna start freaking Hulk smashing some of these bookshelves. Unless maybe just like... I swear I got more last time. I Let's go! Let's go! I saw something! Shotgun Messiah! Let's go! Our shotguns are getting better. Speaking of shotguns, we are still chasing the mythical, the magical, the legendary brand new fully automatic shotgun rain. Look at that thing. It's got a drum mag. So this is why I like hoarding loot and selling it. It just tends to be my play style because if you find something you like at a trader, huh, you see it, you buy it. I don't know how expensive that auto shotgun would be though. I think that is, I think that's the new best shotgun. Shotguns don't come cheap in the first place, so... So, I'll take that, man. I'll take that. Anything. And, I mean, that perk book we got is also very handy. Because the power of that book... Is that now, our shotguns degrade slower. So, that means it should last about 20% longer whenever we get our hands on it. That just means we gotta repair it less, though. It's not the biggest deal in the world. But it will save us a little bit of pain. Alright, chop, 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 chop. Let's get the paper. Yeah, though, I, I genuinely do think that they did make, uh... Make some of the stuff that spawns here. Hello! Greetings, salutations! Wow! Wow, that's a lot of you. You want some, want some of my rifle? Let's try this thing out, man. I don't think we've given this thing too much of a... Boop! Goodbye to your face. Go. Boop! Oh my god! That one hit a quit is all over the place. Boop! <laughs> man, it's hard to go wrong with this. We're about one third of the way to our level two. So a lot to go though. Hello, bookstore. Maybe this box is better stuff. Let's go. Needle and thread. I don't really care about learning how to make clothes. I found plenty. Arrow rest mod, honestly. I'll I'll learn one of those. I'll grab that. We do also have a brand new challenge we could accept. Those require us to kill some zombie dogs. Happily. If they were still normal dogs, never! Dogs are freaking adorbs. I love Puppers. Dude, I cannot wait until one day I can have my own pupper. I'm so excited. I don't know, man. Seriously, dream pupper, I think. I know I've talked about this in, like, some videos and stuff, but something about a Samoyed. Although, I'm not gonna lie, me and my girlfriend, we have been looking at, like, some other dog breeds and stuff, and, like, dude, I'm just gonna say, like, Australian Shepherd Dogs, like, uh, you know, uh, what should I call it? Like, they're crossbreeds with poodles, too. Like, I think they're called Aussie Poos, which, A, is the freaking cutest name ever, right? But... Dude, I don't know, man. They just look so freaking out. Right, long story short, dude. Dogs are total floofs. I love my girlfriend's dog whenever I can come over and spend some time with it. And obviously my girlfriend, because she's freaking incredible. Hey, fun little fact file. I don't know if any of you guys know. Any of you guys have been like a part of the Let's Go channel for long enough. Craft military stealth boots, which have no stamina penalty. Moving and reduce noise from movement. Sure, I'll learn it. Uh, yeah, actually, our five-year anniversary is coming up. So I guess like a little, little, little knowledge, I guess, I wanted to drop. Give you all a bit of an update on the real life side of things. Let's definitely learn that band-aid schematic. But just to give you all a bit of an update on the real life side of things, I suppose. You know, because I do like kind of you know, let, letting you guys know what's up in the life. Oh, hello. Fully automatic mode is an increasing chance to ragdoll enemies. Let's go. We're learning some good perks here, baby. 
but uh, actually our five year anniversary is, is coming up in a little bit so to some of y'all who have been around the channel i mean we've been doing daily videos uh, for almost what is it like eight years at this point so i started like my sophomore year of high school so yeah i actually met and started dating my girlfriend in the middle of the period of the length of me having the channel and stuff so i guess kind of like uh you know for some of y'all that have been around for that long i guess kind of milestone like yeah me me and my girlfriend are about to have been dating for five years and it's it's freaking crazy man we survived long distance throughout college and now we're you know we're both done with college it's like i like i don't know man it, i i will say it is way nicer now that we are both done with college <laughs> that is for sure because long distance can be a pain but you know we had our doubters we had our haters but at the end of the day if it's someone you think is worth it yolo baby yolo and the yolo paid off quite substantially if you ask me because yeah long story short we got an ergonomic grip mod over here let's learn that thing and uh yeah long story short I, I don't know i just i just really love her and it's been an awesome five years and i guess it's just weird and i didn't actually think of bringing this up but then just kind of through talking it came up and it's like wow dude like seriously that's crazy that we've been doing daily videos on the channel for i think coming up on uh it's going to be coming up on eight or seven years. I don't I, I've lost track. I would literally have to look back. Like this is just impromptu off the top of my head, just kind of remembering stuff. But yeah, it's actually been like pretty significantly long. I guess just kind of major milestone, you know, five five years, man. It's kind of crazy. So thank you guys to everyone who's been a part of the journey for so long. And I guess just a little life update and stuff. How do I get off on this tangent? I don't know. Let's check the bathroom. A little toilet. We'll empty out the toilet because it might respawn with a gun in it. Ah, no toilet pistol today. Disappointing. We got that room over there. We got this over here. Yeah, I literally have no idea how I got off on that tangent, bro. Uh. Yeah. I just continue our looting, shall we? <laughs> Let's eat up a little bit of beef here. You're getting a little bit on the thirsty side. I probably shouldn't have eaten beef. That's not really the best thing to do in this situation. Why don't I just get rid of that challenge? Might as well. I don't even need to pick up that band-aid either. I'm just trying to make inventory room. I said rather not need to double back through here just to pick up some mostly worthless stuff. And don't get me wrong, some of the stuff is nice. And I don't want to call it worthless, but like I'm not in the most desperatest of needs for it at the moment. I will pick up that brass though. Brass is nice. And if I'm not mistaken, isn't there still a second floor to this place we got to get to? Coffee maker? You got the coffee? No coffee today, bro. What's that? Hello? Uh, we have gone uh, seven days without an accident. What is this? What is this right here? Someone's got to update that. It's a lie. Why you always lying? Let's go, dude. Speaking of... This has actually absolutely nothing to do with lying, but speaking of words, let's go, baby. That right there. Not too shabby if you ask me. Let's, uh... Wear that thing. Modify that. Take off that little armor pocket mod we got. Complete it. Let's put this thing back here. Let's modify this with our double armor pocket mod we just got. And ladies and gentlemen, we've just upgraded to a level 5 padded glove. And Loki, I kind of like padded armor quite a bit. Because it doesn't drain stamina as much. Stamina, of course, being that blue bar in the bottom left hand corner. It does not get drained nearly as badly. And I really like that. Just like how I really like this rifle, dude. This rifle has been treating me good. What's over here? Hello, I hear zombie noise. Hello. That helmet will not protect you, silly man. <laughs> silly man. Helmets are for... <laughs> I don't know. People who are not going up against the freaking modified M4. SNL dog. Hate to say it, but... The odds were not stacked in your favor. Unfortunate. Um... I could continue eating some food, but... Nah, I'll just leave it be. We're not leaving anything crazy behind. We were leaving some okay things, but... Yeah, again, that's safe. I'd love to break into that. I need to get me some lockpicks. Own the lickety split. We're only halfway towards our level, so... I think we are just gonna need to do some bartering and stuff like that. Uh, this double back's absolutely nowhere. I'll go out in that room in my inventory. Well, that's unfortunate. Um... That's only like 25 bucks worth of paper. I just say... Actually, hold up. I'll get rid of that potassium nitrati. I know it's nitrate. I call it nitrati. See a potassium nitrati. Ah, oh, my. That could have been bad. Nothing in the doom star. Whoop. Yeah, whoop. There we go. Park off. Bro, I can't park off for the life of me. What happened? Have the mighty have fallen? There you go. Bro, what's. What's going on here? Come on, man. There you go. I knew I could do it. 
There should be a big old stockpile of loot up here, no? Hello, hello, hello. Boop. Goodbye to your face. Boop. Goodbye to your face. I love this rifle. Ah, birds! No, no! Oh. Oh. How do you keep dodging my bullets? Shenanigans. Let's turn off my flashlight. It's also pretty bright up here. Yeah, though. Not entirely sure, again, how I got to that freaking life update story. But yeah, I guess, just, 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 guess I just want to give you all that life update and stuff like that. I will probably go back and remember what that uh, train of thought was all about. And I will try to continue it in the next episode. So stay tuned. I might be able to form a coherent thought by then. <laughs> big, big ask, I know, but come on, let's not get too carried away. Oh. Aren't there going to be zombie-like beings in here? No, we're in the clear. Oh, never mind. What a few stragglers. What are you doing? What's up, bruv? You gonna break out? Come on, man. Yeah, I believe in you. You want some help? Oh, there you go. How you doing? Oh! <gasps> two bullets? And two! I spit on you. How could you do that to me, dude? It's rude. I can use two bullets on your butt? Weather backpack. Go to tin can. Just what I wanted. And up over here. Hello! There's a doggo! Man, I completely forgot about that thing. <laughs> I completely forgot. What a bookcase. Uh, just some more paper. Here's where the goods are, though. We got the bookstore box. Ooh, Night Stalker. 5% more XP from kills at night. I'll take it. Let's go. We just learned how to make oil. Very useful raw resource. Definitely will be wanting that. I don't really care about learning the stun baton. I'll just sell that and make some money, money, money. Shame wet box has some sandwiches. 12% chance of dysentery. So that's a no from me. I'll take your paper though and open the chest next door. Oh! Hello, my good sir. Wow. I am in love. I love everything that I'm seeing. That's incredible. That is going to sell for a hefty penny once we mod it out. Level 6. Really good to toss mods on that and sell it. So, I'll be back. I don't need to... Uh, actually, I definitely want to grab those two. So, I'll be back. This other stuff, I'll keep. Maybe I'll modify it down the line. Maybe use it for, I don't know, scrap armor is kind of annoying because it drains more stamina. But, it is more useful depending on the situation. Also, I might just be able to like... We could definitely find a way to just do this the lazy way and like parkour up somehow. Yeah, I digress. Let's go to Trader Joe's where it's going to be time for us to put together the selling spree of a lifetime, lads. The amount of money that's going to be flowing our way. Oh, it'll be like something you've never seen. Take your time. Hello, Trader well Joe. Learned, traveler. Oh, well you want to give me stuff? Well, that's unfortunate. I don't really have inventory room for this. I'll take the helmet light mod, not that I need it, but maybe I could sell it for something. Okay, so that went in our inventory. Now we got some more experience. Ah, oh, we're so close to leveling up, man. I mean, so be it. Do you have any quests? Still all tier one quests, kind of annoying. Fetch quest, pretty close. 300 meters, I'll take that. Right? That's nice and close. Seeing you again. But Joel, buddy, we... First off, is there anything I'm going to want to buy with them when we have this kind of like bartering thing going full blast? Anything good? He's got robotic turrets. We, wouldn't it be too shabby? I already have a bicycle. Sorry, bud. The grand heist? Ah, that wouldn't be too bad. There's not a second page to that. Anything good on the normal side of things? Eight times scope mod's kind of cool. Hunting rifle. Generator bank is going to come in handy when we start defending our base. Lucky goggles. Do I have lucky goggles oh, yet? My apologies. Check back again. Okay, I do. I may have what you're looking for. Hmm. Yeah, man. Unless, like... Unless I want a robotic sledge, which I kind of do. <laughs> Not going to lie. That's a new kind of turret. Maybe we'll buy one. All right. Sorry. Regardless, lads, it's time. To make some, to make some money. Off. Tastes like brass. All right, well... It's about to taste like money, money, money. We're gonna be swimming in it, baby. It's a fire sale. Someone call Samantha from Call of Duty Zombies and let her know. We need her to announce some things. 
pure mineral water. I don't care. I got plenty of that. Take it on. Take my pepper. Take the flashlight. Take my military parts. Take my roids, dude. And I buy out explore like anti inventory. Get out. Get out of my inventory. It's anti my inventory. Three bicycle handlebar schematics. Three thousand six hundred dollars worth of two thousand dollars. Uh, more pepper. More steel armor. Grain alcohol. We really got to make sure to like continue just rolling through this. The diamonds, man. Four and a half. Thousand worth of diamonds. 350 worth of gold nuggets. Thousand worth of the silver. Aw, oh, dude. And we got an airdrop. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Let's go. I'll sell the album on too, man. I already have one. All right, well. Gratitude. <laughs> Travels, friend. 13 grand coming my way. And I'm tempted by the robotic sledge. Let me know if y'all might want me to grab that as a turret and put it to use. I'm tempted by it. Maybe next I'm time. I'm a man of the people. So the people, survive. let me know in that comment section down below what you think. Do y'all want me to go after that? Because I could be persuaded. So I am not, I, I'm really, I don't know. I think I'm going to do it anyways. I don't know. Let me know. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions and whatnot. Because it is something we've yet to show off. And I like showing off things that we've yet to show off. Show the people what's new, what's good. And uh, speaking of things, let's go back up topside. Get what we wanted, but yeah, we're swimming in cash right now. We still have that quest to turn into the other fella. Which I think we'll do that. We got a quest to get over here. We got a dog quest over there. We have like a nice little line of stuff we should be able to knock out. So I really do like the way that things are going right now. We're really back on track. And I think after a few more quests, that'll get us enough money. And, uh, I mean, we don't really need money, though, for what we got to do. You know, I just don't like money. Seven days to buy money is very nice. Those scrap boots, I'm telling you, we're going to be able to sell that for a lot of money one day. If we fully repair these boots and put on all four modifications, that will literally be worth so much. It's not even funny, dude. Not even funny. Speaking of things, though, uh... Why don't I grab the padded gloves, modify it, let's put on, make it a little bit more armored, and also put on a better pocket, because why not? I don't even think if we, I don't even know if we need that necessarily. Might be a bit overkill, but regardless, we'll put it on. Triple pocket, pocket greater than double pocket. And life's back on track, man. The rifle's putting in work. Our cash reserves are overflowing. We got our eyes on some way better base defenses because even even that one robotic sledge could seriously be nice. We just found a store shelf I completely whipped over. Just one, but I mean, still, I'll take it. Yeah, man. Things are going good. And I do like the way they're going, but with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I do think that that is actually going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of Seven Days to Die. Thank you guys the whole time for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See you.